<laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> Yo. A quick few tips on how to play Leo. Uh, there are a lot of people who get quite intimidated when fighting games come up, so I thought I'd give a bit of advice. I'm also doing this on keyboard because I know not everyone has a fight stick and also I'm getting a hitbox so it'll help me prepare for that. So, before we move on, we'll, I'll tell you what Leo is. He is a neutral based character with big buttons such as his slash, heavy slash, 5k and 6k and his whole goal in this game is to get knocked down, so such as that. Get into back or they get into back turn and then mix up your opponent with high low mix ups into big damage combos. So now we understand the basics of the character. Let me walk you through some of his best buttons. So now his K, his kick is really good on keyboard. That would be you. But like 2K and 6K or 5K and 6K is really good. So you get a low mix up with the. And you can cancel it into moves. Obviously, you can roam and cancel into full combos, which I'll show you how to do in a bit. But another good thing about his 5k is if we get made to block here, uh, fuck. so now you can. Tick throw. Sorry, playing on keyboard is a bit weird for me. Let's reset it so we're not on the corner. Okay, so hold. So you just got to hold forward a single second. Tick throw. Right? Now when your opponent gets used to this, they'll start jumping it. So now, what if we set her to block, block guard only first hit, uh, set it to counter, that means we've done it as if she's jumping. And once again get a full combo, or I'm mean, fairly certain you can even. Uh, uh, why is this not there? Ah, oh, I'm doing the kick too early. So, uh, 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 uh. you can get nutty, nutty counter hit combos. Though another good counter hit combo would be into slash. If you get a slash, you can do some. Well, oh wait, she's starting. No god. So slash, forward heavy slash, and you get into back turn for free. It's better if you can get a far slash. And not a charge. Uh, and just, that's corner to corner. Now, I'm not doing optimal combos just yet. Because we're just going through his buttons, but I'll teach you those two. I've got his punch and his 6p. 6p overhead armor or head in bomb and jab so you want to use his 5p or well preferably his 5p honestly um, to jab out of pressure such as chips alpha blade you can mash out a chips alpha blade or geo's overhead jump you can also use it as an anti-air in frantic situations but you want to use 6p as an anti-air where possible unless you're very brave you can go for a 2h counter but 6p is your main so we know about kick now we've got slash his slash series so in this game gatling is always slash heavy slash that always works but in this game uh, as leo you can repeat his slash heavy slash as long as they're in range so slash heavy slash slash heavy slash and then you can get Oh, obviously I wouldn't necessarily recommend this because there are better moves available such as that but at mid screen oh sorry trying to get used to a keyboard to do this is weird that's, 
stuffed my food a bit. Definitely gets more damage into your combo. So it's definitely something worth keeping in mind. Next up we've got his slash, uh, heavy slash. So forward heavy slash gives you this huge swing, which you don't want to go for counter hits with it, you want to go for the counter hit with the standard slash and confirm into it. I will get the super input down on you eventually. There it is. So, for example, uh, uh, uh. That's, that's all by if you want to use it for counter hit confirms. You've also got his down heavy slash. Uh, oh wait, there's because there's counter hit on. Okay. Down heavy slash, which will be able to confirm straight into the 2 and 4 turbulence. Which I'll go into soon. But that is really important. Okay, so now you can also use that as an anti air but the main reason you want to use that is to not need Roman Council combos. And then you've got Dust. Obviously, Dust is an over, um, not an over mechanic, a universal mechanic. His Air Dust is actually insanely good. Especially in the corner, you can get Air Dust combos. Let's see if I can do this on PC. Uh, the jump. But you can jump and cancel it multiple times into a full corner combo. Uh, so if you do that twice, you can then get your corner loop, which I'll teach you later. His 2D is also insanely good. A sweep that can be cancelled in specials, I believe, or at least on counter hit. Yeah, only on counter hit. But, and then he's got his standard dust. Oh. And his throw. His throw is really good because it gets him into back turn. Now, I'll go for back turn a bit. So, there's multiple ways into back turn. I've got the throw, which I just showed you. Or well, there's turbulence. I don't believe there's any more actually. I think those are the only two. So, the reason back turn is so strong, that's an overhead, that's a low. So you can go straight into high low mix ups and force your opponent to get. And if they guess wrong, you can get wall break, you can get pretty good damage, pretty much any hit. You can also loop a lot of them. And also it gives him access to one of his supers. Which for damage is insane. <coughs> so in general you want that is a basically a combo. So back turn is very strong, very strong indeed. Now we'll go over some specials. He's got a couple really important ones. Projectile, which is a charge input. I actually find this easier to do on keyboard than I do fight stick. Basically you just have to hold one of these two back directions and then flick to one of the two forward directions in a single input. And he's got a similar thing with a DP which is known as a flash kick. It's really good in vulnerability. Still getting used to doing it on. Keyboard, but really good in vulnerability. Uh, he's also got a heavy version. That was still slow. Which has the extra knockdown hit. And then he's got his, what used to be his Wrecker series, but not so much anymore. 
So what used to be it used to be this would wreck it into the far slash dash, uh, heavy slash dash, but it doesn't anymore. So now you just get that, which it's it's a very fast mid range button, good for counter hits. And then you've got this one, which is the same but crosses you up and puts you into back turn. I knew there was another way to put you into back turn. I just couldn't remember off the top of my head. So you only get into this if I do a standard Leo combo. You'll notice that didn't combo. If I put this onto counter here, that's the only way you'll actually get the dash to consistently combo. As you can see, even after one counter hit, the combo didn't work. So you can't combo into that. So for combos, you want to go. Obviously, you can remember what we said earlier. So the so yeah, um, then he's got two other specials. Well, three other specials. In back turn, massive overhit slash. If you just do it, you cancel out back turn. If you do it in hold, stay in back turn. Oh wait, he's also got Turbulence, which is what I've been using to get into back turn. In the corner... This leads straight into a big ass damage combo. But, that was meterless as well. The reason I'm showing you that is because you can hold it to go into back turn. Or you can press it, and then not go into back turn. But, that's very important to know depending on the situation. So if I'm mid-screen, for example, and want to get a combo, I would want to stay in back turn because it leads to more damage and more combo carry. Whereas in the corner, you can get what's known as Leo's corner loop. And you don't have to hold it. Um, what other moves does he have? Ah. Another mix option in back turn is his command grab. Which can also combo into his corner loop. Which is very, very strong. So I believe those are all his specials. There is one other thing we have to talk about though, which is his back turn dust. Now, I. I I can't remember how to get um, the bot. Uh, there must be a way to get the bot to our recording. Slot one. Okay. Let me just go through all the buttons, see if which one's recording. Oh yeah, actually another thing important to this game, there is a dash macro. So that's really important if you want to say dash but not lose your charge. So that's quite important to remember as well. Um, I believe that's everything. So everything neutral wise. So now I'll teach you some basic Leo combos. Uh, no. So the basic Leo combo is going to be the same as most basic uh, most characters in this game, which will be slash. That's kick slash, heavy slash, special. So I'll look. It's on counter hit off. So without counter hit, I'll look. Not bad. You can also extend this combo with the use of the roaming cancel for meter. So you can then go into turbulence slash heavy slash or you can dash up as long as you roaming cancel after the hit for special. 
Um, I would recommend Turbulence, but um, you can do. Obvi and then there's the 5k, 6k version. Which is generally the better option to go for. It's a lot faster and a lot um, a hard to block. Also meaning you can go for the low starter. And then we just need to land two other combos really for Leo. So, oh well, we'll talk about a couple others. After you go into Turbulence, you want to hold Turbulence. I'm only doing a couple buttons here. Slash, heavy slash, again. Slash, heavy slash, slash, heavy slash. But normally you want to do slash, Let's see if I can land it. Slash, heavy slash, slash. Well, one more slash and then the special one. Mm -hmm. Honestly, the hardest thing is the delay on the second slash. Let's, let's do the full combo though. Without dashing, preferably. Okay, uh, for now we'll just do. I'm not sure. Into heavy. Uh, into the dash. So we'll just do that. For now, which is slash heavy slash two three six heavy slash. So that's so now you know his basic over um, combo once you get into turbulence. So that's what you can do after Roman cancel, and you know his basic starter, which is always kick or five k six k into button or slash heavy slash. Obviously, if you can land the slash, you want to go for that because I will net you far more damage. And then we've got to talk about his corner combos. Now this is something that I only learned recently myself. But say you get... Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Corner loops. So... Go into the Roman Council, walk up, slash. So what I'm doing is I'm walking up, standing slash, so 5S, crouching slash, 2S, and then 5HS. So what it is, is the standing slash is more to just make them bounce, then it's 2S, 5HS, 2S, 5HS, 2S, 5HS special. So it looks something like that. No, I wouldn't. A little bit that. I've already done it multiple times this video. Okay. And as you can see, that's more damage than the standard. So there's another combo to talk about, which is you do not have uh, to Roman cancel for. So you could do uh, 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 uh. As you can see, I got into the corner loop with slash. 2 HS Turbulence, and I only tapped Turbulence. Now, mid screen, this combo still works, but you want to hold Turbulence. Because then you get back turn stance. With the whole Highland mix up. And also, the I'm not sure if I mentioned actually, you can dash to cross up your opponent. So. 
you know, you can do some crazy stuff with that. So mid screen, you've got the cap with it, but corner, you can go straight into corner loop. Oh uh, yeah, sorry. And then obviously you can end with super. If you want the highest damage, you want to try and end your combos with this super. That leaves the highest damage. Now apart from that, it's just learning most of the combos in this game are just repeats. So it's just learning where you can implement these, what hits you can get them with. It. I hope this guide was helpful. Um, should also show that you don't need fight stick, or um, if you're playing on PC, you can just use keyboard. Actually, makes charge inputs quite easy because instead of having to flick from you know down to up, you can just very thanks. Uh, I've got a setup so ASD is left, down, right, and then space is my up. So if I hold down, I can just press space and a button and I get my TP. If I can hold back and press W, that A, and get combo that way. Combo, uh, input that way. And then, basically, motions. Just kind of roll your fingers. So yeah, I hope this has been helpful for some of you guys, and, and I will see you next time. Let's, we're gonna risk fighting a soul immediately on keyboard. We're on floor 10, and I normally come here because there's, I have two issues with Celestial. One of them is either I find no matches, or I get absolutely crushed. And while I would be very down with that on fight sticks, you know, that's how you get better. Um, currently my movement's going to be very whack. So, uh, I'm, I'm playing it safe. I just talked about. He's probably gonna burst us. Oh, I thought that would kill. Oh, I, I tried pressing kick, but I should have just matched the punch. Oh yeah, because it interrupts his pressure. You can get a thrown up DP in this game. Ooh, that was unfortunate. That was me messing up an input because I need the keyboard. Oh well. I'm wasting my bear. Ooh. I thought I had Roman Council. Roman cancel can make DP safe, otherwise DP is a very unsafe option. I jumped the first throw.
But just is generally the way against throws. Not as solid as normal, but considering I'm playing on keyboard, not half bad. You know, definitely shows that that's a floor 10 player, that's the floor below Celestial. So it definitely shows that, you know, you can't blame your hardware completely. Obviously, you're far likely to do better with wait, wait, trying to beat a burst there. Didn't fall for it. Instead. That'll be a burst. Oh, safe jump. As you can tell, I'm. Oh, that's thrown. Bonk, bonk. Bonk. Oh, hello. I'm probably dead, yeah. Missed time my parry. If I timed that parry right, I could have gotten in with super and broken through the wall and killed him. I thought that was meant to be that. I spent a lot of meter there, but I get positive back, so overall, I'd say worth it. Hopefully they let me set up. Get four text goes through that tile sometime. Nice. Soul with his awesome combos as always. Nice. Oh, I I best of three and then I'll go back to you uh, just playing normal I'm not gonna lie I think I reckon he's got this Watch him. Oh, I tried DPing out of it Nice. I was expecting the uh, throw, which is why I get anything. What? I'm always expecting the throw now, though. So he's got me what they call condition, because I expect one option from him. It's not coming out. So I'm just prepared for a different eventuality. He went for the throw there. Thanks. Get off with me. Nice throw. I could have beat that, but I messed up the input because I'm not very good on the keyboard. Ooh. He's probably going to go for the effort. Oh yeah, I didn't talk about guard points actually. I'm just getting too predictable. That was me trying my um, 
parried, but I didn't hold turbulence. Okay. I didn't think I would win all three. But there we go. Um, I'll put those ones in the video as well. Oh, of course, of course, we have to play best three. It wasn't, it wasn't open park. But yeah, hopefully that gives you a bit of insight into Leo. Uh, not a hard character, so if you want to pick up Guilty Gear and you're a bit, um, a bit, you're new to fighting games or whatnot, he's definitely a very good character to start with. I understand that you know. It's easy for someone who's a Leo main, who's in Celestial, to say, hey, Le this character's easy, but his combos are very simple. Um, if you really enjoy Leo or his aesthetic or mixing your opponent up, making them get high low, definitely the character for you. I love this character for those exact reasons. Um, if he's not for you or you prefer the neutral big button aspect, I'd recommend characters like uh, Ramlethal or Nagoriyuki. And if you want to, if you're not too worried about the 50-50 aspect and just want to rush people down constantly, then I'd recommend May or Eno. Well, no, May, May. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I shall see you next time.